The majority of iOS devices in the past have had the ability to be jailbroken, from the original iPhones, iPod Touches, and more recently the iPads. And since the latest iPod Nano, the 6th generation, has a version of iOS installed, it was thought it could be jailbroken. And recently, a man named James Walton is halfway to successfully jailbreaking this device. He has shown demonstrations of him removing icons and pre-installed apps such as Clock and Pedometer off the iPod Nano 6th generation. It must be noted, however, he has merely removed apps from the system. Many technology sites have jumped to conclusions, and as he has said himself, he did not fully jailbreak the device, which is what some technology blogs have claimed. But this demonstration surely suggests that in the future, the iPod Nano could possibly be fully jailbroken, with apps and games could be installed to the device, as well as video playback capabilities that were missing from the 6th generation. Although many have become excited at the prospect of installing and using apps on the iPod Nano, when taking into account the comparative screen sizes between this device and for example an iPhone, it's hard to imagine apps like Doodle Drum or Fruit Ninja being easily played and used on the relatively tiny iPod Nano. In my opinion, although this is quite an exciting prospect, I don't think this jailbreak would really make the iPod Nano a better device, and I couldn't see many apps being readily available and being suitable and compatible with the iPod Nano's small screen real estate. But Technoblogs have released details of Walton's upcoming work, which includes more hacks to the iPod Nano 6th generation. Only time will tell if this device will be able to use full iPhone apps in the future. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.